Hey guys, in this super quick video, I want to show you how our auto flush works for our Rain Man water maker. There's our flush timer control box back there. Pretty much the auto flush system is made up of the control timer box and then this motorized valve right there, which is controlled by that timer box. And then it also has this activated carbon filter because any residual chlorine in your water tank, whether it was from city water or you added bleach or anything to it, uh, that'll damage water maker membranes. So that activated carbon filter will filter out that residual chlorine and maybe any other uh, contaminants. This line right here is teed off from our fresh water system. So it's the pressure side of our fresh water pump. Um, it's always pressurized and then it's blocked by that motorized valve, which is normally closed. Um, but when the control box allows that valve to open, that pressurized water will run through the activated carbon filter and then it just gets teed right into our regular water maker pre-filter and then the rest of the water maker system. Now this timer box will allow that motorized valve to open every seven days and it can be open for two, four, six, or eight minutes long, depending on how much water you want to flush through your system and Rain Man suggested flushing at least two and a half gallons of water through your system. And then some cool features about this is right now it's blinking blue and that's letting us know how many days are left until the ne next flush cycle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven days left until our next flush cycle. I can hit this button and it'll, it'll manually start a flush cycle. I can hit it again, it'll cancel it. So that just closed the valve and canceled that flush cycle, but it just reset. So now seven days from now, it'll activate again. So a couple things to consider. You always want your water pump and your fresh water system to be on so that just in case your auto flush goes off, but your water pump's not on in your water system, all of a sudden you don't have pressurized water and you just wasted that uh, flush cycle. The other thing to consider is if you're leaving your boat for an extended period of time, you don't want your water tank to go dry. So you just gotta be mindful of that. And then lastly, you don't want this auto flush to So what Rayman suggests doing is when you're about to make some water, just hit that button, that'll start a flush cycle, hit it again real quick, that'll cancel that flush cycle, and then it'll reset the timer so now you're sure that that won't go off while you're making water. Now you can make your whole tank of water, and then at the end of your water making session, you can hit that button and that'll auto flush your whole system, and then it'll reset the timer for seven days. So if you don't make water within the next seven days then it'll automatically flush your water making system and the membranes and you don't have to worry about those membranes sitting with stale water for longer than seven days you could always pickle your membranes but that's kind of a pain especially if you're still on the boat you might just be making water in eight days or ten days or, or two weeks or something like that you know if you're sick if you're not gonna be on the boat for a month or two then you probably just want to pickle your membranes and not have your auto flush on so you don't drain your tank. So we can set our auto flush to flush for two, four, six, or eight minutes. And the way we want to determine that is to measure how much water comes out the output, the brine output, to make sure we're getting at least two and a half gallons out of there every auto flush. So we'll, uh, I'll probably set it for like six minutes and measure what water comes out of the brine output and then, uh, you know, see if it's two and a half gallons or more or less and then determine from there. It's super easy to set how long you want it to auto flush for, so I just did it, so I'm gonna do it again. Just hold this down for two and a half seconds. It'll flash green. Now it'll go, that was two minutes. That was four, so that's four minutes. And that was six minutes, and I just hit the button during that six minutes. So now it's just setting itself. I think it'll do that one more time. And not just twice. So now it goes back to its normal sequence, but I just set it to auto flush for six minutes. So super easy. So now I'm just gonna measure how much water comes out. Um, I'll use this jug here, it's a five gallon jug, so 
If we get more than half, that's about two and a half gallons. I'll try to get three or four gallons. All right, so I put the brine hose in here. I'm just gonna hold it up for this one because it's not long enough. I'll hit our flush. I just want to take this moment here to address why an auto flush might be necessary or useful. If you're not going to be using your water maker for two days or more, then you're going to want to flush it just to keep the reverse osmosis membranes from getting all gunked up and growth and fouled. Um, just keep them lasting as long as possible. And if you're not going to be making water for more than seven days, you should either flush the system again or pickle the system for the same reason, just to keep those membranes healthy and lasting a long time. So this auto flush system solves both those problems. It's really easy to just hit the button and flush the water maker system at the end of a water making cycle. And then it'll automatically flush every seven days so you don't have to pickle it unless you're leaving the boat for an extended period of time. Perfect, just closed. So this is a five gallon jug. It looks like we definitely have more than half, which would be two and a half gallons, maybe around three gallons. So that's perfect. Our auto flush is set at six minutes. So every seven days, as long as I don't touch that button, every seven days it'll auto flush uh, for six minutes. So anyway, we just installed this, wow. So anyway, we just installed this auto flush system and uh, I've just used it after a water making session a couple times and it's working really well so far, but let me know if you guys think I missed anything or if you have any questions and I'll try to keep you up to date with how it's working. Um, still gotta clean up some wires and stuff, I just installed it. So just gonna kinda straighten everything up, make sure there's no chafe on any of these lines on the water system and uh, yeah, make sure everything's working properly. So. Pretty cool feature, hope you guys like that. Um, check out some more of the videos, make sure you subscribe to Tools Tech Talk for more of this kind of stuff. See you later. Hey guys, I just wanna add one cool feature that I forgot to say in this video, but if the power ever shuts off to the auto flush timing box, once the power comes back on, it'll wait 15 seconds and then it'll start a flush sequence and then it'll continue its flush sequence every seven days. So just a cool little feature, just wanna throw that in there.